In the summer of 2023, God opened the door for a group of young missionaries to go on a road trip to Juarez, Mexico, to carry out a vacation Bible school program. There was so much doubt and uncertainty if God really wanted us there. I mean, sending a young group of missionaries to a place of darkness, danger, where drug cartels thrive, where women and children are being sex trafficked. There was so much worry and anxiety in my heart. I pleaded with God, if this isn't your will, please close the door to this place. But God reminded me through his word, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord Almighty. The Lord told me, now then, stand still and see this great thing the Lord is about to do before your eyes. So then, I did. I stood still and saw how God worked through a group of young people in Denver. Regardless of their pasts, their faults, God chose them all for this great task. I stood still and saw how he touched the hearts of the leaders, placing the gift of encouragement and leadership in them. Although there was worry and fear, God was still there. Although there was little time for preparation, the Spirit of God moved in every single one of us. Up until the day of departure, I stood still and saw a body of Christ come together and spur these missionaries on. Lord, take care of them all the way. All these things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. We give In the face of darkness and the enemy shouting fears at us, I stood still and saw the anointed next generation full of joy, peace, and strength of Christ. If God is for us, who can be against us? I stood still and saw the Spirit of God touch the hearts of the young prayer warriors come together and sharpen one another. I stood still and saw how they encountered Christ through his word and were strengthened by his word. For Christ was, is, and will always be our daily bread. After a long drive, after crossing the border, I stood still and saw the young missionaries walk by faith and not by sight. They saw a small church by a mountain called Quien amará a los niños? Who will love the children? I stood still and saw the children, children with sadness in their eyes, but a seed of hope, a seed of hope that will be planted by Christ through these missionaries. Although a long and hot three days of the VBS program were ahead of us, I stood still and saw the fruit of the Holy Spirit placed on each one of the missionaries. I stood still and saw how Christ enlightened these children and gave them joy through these missionaries. God was in control the entire time. I stood still and saw the missionaries share the gospel of Christ to the children. They were eager to learn and were very hungry for the Lord Jesus. I stood still and saw the children of Juarez laugh, play, work together, worship, learn, and meet Jesus Christ through these missionaries. I stood still and heard a story about a young girl named Sophia with their little sister named Catherine and a little brother named Alexander, a troublemaker, but an innocent child of God who touched the hearts of all those young missionaries. A story about how their father, involved in the darkness, was killed 
a story about how their mother had disappeared about a month back, telling the pastor of the church to please take care of her three children because evil men wanted to kill her. I stood still and became a witness to the anointed young missionaries praying for this family. For where two or three gather in the name of Jesus, there he is with us. Not only for them, but for all these children in Juarez who are going through a similar story. We stood still and saw God work. We heard that the 25-year-old mother of Sofia and her siblings was found alive. She had been kidnapped, intoxicated, and sold as a prostitute. We praise God for his faithfulness by keeping this young mother alive and reuniting with her three children. We pray that nothing in this world could ever place a finger on them again and that this young mother be restored completely. At the end of it, I stood still and saw the children of Juarez grateful for their experience with the young missionaries. When they embraced them, I know it wasn't just the missionaries they embraced, but Christ in them. The seed had been planted. Though it was time to say goodbye, I stood still and saw the hope and love of Jesus in these children. I stood still and witnessed testimonies of these young missionaries and leaders who had been impacted by the Spirit of Christ through these children. It is an experience that they will never forget, but I know it will not end there. They are not missionaries just every other summer on a road trip, but missionaries from the Lord 24-7, in their homes with their families, with their friends, in their grocery stores, in the streets. God continues to work, and I pray that they will continue to abide in Christ and have the boldness and confidence to share Jesus wherever they go, for he is the way, the truth, and the life. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. This is a new beginning in Juarez.